All right, guys, welcome back. We are going to change the oil in our Cummins Onan 2800i generator tonight. It's underneath the bottom of our transit. So let's show you real quick. So this generator, we've had it for about two years now. I've checked it occasionally. Oil's been fine. Um, but we haven't run it enough yet to change it until tonight. So this is our catch tank. This is what we're going to use, our, our bin. I've got two different funnels. Hopefully, maybe we'll go with this one. I'm not sure. I think the drain bolt is a 10 millimeter. So I've got that ready. We're gonna need this to pop a cover off so we can get to the drain bolt. I've got a couple lights, then I have like a, an absorbent rag that will stick on the bottom. So I actually did. Today I found the manual. It's very hard. Cummins website is not easy to use. So I will put the link in the video to this pamphlet that I found. You will find it helpful. So the actual technical of name of this generator is an HGLAA, if you're curious. And it's a 2800i. We've had it for two years. Uh, show our van, Braxton. So underneath the van here, it's way underneath the back corner. There's like hardly any room under there. So we will get the camera under there now and we'll show you how to change the oil. All right guys, the super tight quarters. You can see like underneath here, like the funnel barely fits from the ground to the bottom of the generator. Um, I just wiped the front of it off so it looked a little bit cleaner because it does get some of the road grime. You can see the exhaust here, the rear tires just in front of it. Um, so it's open and close and try to do it with camera I kind of put in the best spot here. So turn the door and then push up on it and then just down and out. And then real quick on the back side of this door, if I can turn it around in here. Um, try to turn around real quick. It shows you if you can see that tag right there. It shows you like fuel filter, air filter, and how much oil. So it says exactly one quart if we get it all out. So I probably won't put a full quart in. Where we'll like put it in and we'll check it because you don't always get the exact amount out. That's probably one quart is probably like all the way full or all the way empty. So um, like if a motor is getting rebuilt or something. But you can see right here is our dipstick. I'm looking through the phone. Um, so it's right there. Yeah, I'm just going to unscrew it. And I have a rag right here in my hand. I'll kind of lay it on here. I'm kind of like laying down looking through the phone. So got that on there. Oh, our air filter is way over here. And our main uh, shut off here for power. One time I tripped that, I was cleaning in here and I hit that and then I, nothing would work. So if you're ever curious, that's, that's to send power out of the unit. I tripped it. Air filter is just these two pegs. You pull it out and rotate it out. Um, I'm sure ours is kind of dusty because we go to dirt bike races a lot. Sorry about that. My gimbal keeps having a problem after like a minute. It just decides to go on its side. So how you check the oil is right now it looks super full. Um, I'm going to wipe it on here. Oil is not super dirty, which I knew it wasn't because we don't have a lot of run time. Probably, probably 30, 40 hours. Um, I'm going to stick it back in. And so what we're going to do, I just did that looking through the phone, is you do not screw it back in. You just set it in there. And so now I'm going to pull it out. If you thread it in, it changes the actual, I'm going to wipe off some of it. We'll bring it in closer. You can see where the shininess stops. It's uh, just below full. So it's definitely due to be changed. I'm glad we're doing it. We're leaving for a, a race tomorrow. So um, I'm going to leave the dipstick out so it'll be easier to drain. So at this point, um, I'll take this out too. Don't need that in there. But I have, sorry, what I'll do now is I'm going to switch over to a GoPro that sits lower on the ground and we'll show you the bottom of the generator here. Okay, so on the bottom of the generator, you see this little plug they put in there. That's to kind of protect dirt from going up under this thing. So let me just use a screwdriver, like a flathead, and just kind of prying it like this. So now that's out of the way. And up under there is our drain plug. So I can try to tip you guys under there to see it. You can see that drain plug up in there, hopefully. It's a 10 millimeter, so it's a pretty small drain plug. And I'm hoping I got enough room because I didn't want to cut my bin too small to set that and then also sneak the tool up in there. So let me back you guys up just a little bit. Perfect. Heck yeah. So didn't make much of a mess at all. That oil looks really clean coming out of there. You can see it's still still pretty clean it's not super dirty and that's kind of what we're shooting for so just trying to take care of it we'll see how much comes out so we'll let this drain and we'll come back to it 
All right, as you guys can see, it's pretty much down to a pretty slow drip coming out of the bottom here. So I'm going to take my rag and clean it up a little bit. Make sure I'm happy with it. There's no dirt up in there because it's never really been off-roaded. Just road grime going down the road. So slide that over to the side. And the most challenging part for me is not being able to see where I'm shooting for here. Kind of going by feel. And I cleaned the... I cleaned the whole drain plug up and I made sure the crush washer was in really good shape. So with this being the first oil change, I'm going to reuse it. And this gets torqued to 22 newton meters. So we're going to torque this down real quick and I'll put our plug back in. Now that the drain bolt is tight, we can reinstall our protective cap. And I'll go back up top and refill it. Okay, so this is the more challenging part, trying to look past the phone and put this in there. So I think that this will fit down in. To there okay it's gonna kind of like force it down in so it doesn't come out so there's my funnel and then I'm gonna use they want a 10w30 and at the shop I had a ton of this Yamaha lube it's meant for generators and all small engines so that's what we're gonna use in ours and we'll crack it open I'm not sure if there's a yeah there is like a little protective thing in there to make sure the oil is sealed and, and good to go. So let me grab a screwdriver and I'll pop this. So I think I'm going to spill quite a bit because it's hard to see. So I'm getting my rags ready and my cloth underneath. And the funnel's pretty well stuck in there so it should be good there. Some more me just trying to dump this in. So I'm not going to dump the full quart in because I want to make sure that um, I'm not overfilling it. My arm is directly under it if it decides to spill. So let's see if we can't get this to go in. Oh, so the funnel's not, I think I think I got the microfiber under there. Funnel's not at a steep of enough of an angle. So let's see if I can't make this a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I might go get a different funnel to do this. All right, guys, so we're getting close. I pretty much have dumped almost all of it in. There's really not much left in the bottle. There's a, yeah, there's a little bit left in there. I'm going to stop for a second and we're going to look at it. I really had to melt the funnel pretty good to get it to uh, to work here. So ran over to the shop, tried a really tall funnel. It was like a pretty cool looking one, but it's too tall. Let me grab it here. Try this thing, but there's just not enough room inside the frame here. It pretty much goes right to the bottom of the van. So that one didn't work. So took a torch to this one, kind of cracked it and deformed it because it let it clear the cylinder head bolt there. So worked out pretty good actually, just had to be patient with it. And we're gonna check it. So let's stick this back in there. I'm looking at the camera. Like I said, we don't screw it in. We just kind of set it in there directly in. And then I'm gonna pull it out. And I know I just tipped it, but it was just below the full line there. I could see it before I tipped it. That's pretty much right there. So I think I'm going to put a little bit more in now. That's kind of exactly where it was before, but um, it's not quite to the full line. So get my awesome funnel back in its home there. And then my slippery bottle of oil. So I think if you guys were doing this in a different location other than underneath your transit van, you'd be just fine. So let's try to dump a little bit more in here. Hard to see what's going on. Like I said, it is one full quart to fill it, but I, I didn't think we got all of it out anyway, so not a ton left in there. I'm gonna lay this down to catch the funnel here. I try to keep things clean. I don't like to have any kind of oil in there. Cause then I get nervous if there's a spot in the garage, I'm like, uh oh. So, all right, so that's back in there flat. Try this arm here. Let's see if we can keep it higher. <laughs> it started to screw itself in somehow. All right, so let's check this. And it is right to the full line. It's perfect. It's right at the line it needs to be. So pretty excited about that. So all I gotta do now is screw the dipstick back in. Whoa, looking at a phone. There we go. So we'll screw this in. I think my air filter is probably fine because it was actually pretty clean inside the whole assembly here. 
So I'm not gonna worry. Yeah, I'll show it. You know what? Let's do it. Let's check our air filter. Give you guys a little bonus footage here. So let's just pop these tabs. It's easy to do because I'm already under here. And yeah, you can see it's a little dusty from being with the dirt bike race on the inside. All right, we're back. Gimbal. Let's flip, let's open it up and look at the inside. So kind of see some dirt getting around the edge of it there. It's not super exciting. They didn't get around it because it's not. Eh, kind of. Maybe my hands are just oily, but not exciting how there's like maybe some dirt on the inside of that right there. It's kind of like the filters deformed, like when they made it. Like look at that big bulge right there. I wonder if that's normal. That can't be. Big bulge of. So I'm going to order a new filter for this. I'm glad I checked it. I can't imagine that that is supposed to be there like that. So. It'll be fine for this weekend, but we're going to make it better. So, we'll slide it back in there. Gimbal's definitely having a hard time, so... Slide it back in there, it gets in its pegs. My hands are kind of oily, so it's staining everything. I right, see how I just flicked that? I've done that before. It's so easy to flick, and then nothing's going to work, so... Alright, so there's that. Before our gimbal goes crazy. Let's get our panel back on. So you start at the top, you just kind of slide it up in into its channel and then close it. So make sure it's locked in so you don't lose it going down the road. So, all right, guys, wrapped it up. Cummins Onan QG 2800i. That was an oil change. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the ride, and we'll see you in the trail.